the whole business of uh, storytelling, of narrative, is still very strong in the English novel. And um, it, it, it sustains it. Whereas I get the impression, though I think it's changing slightly, there is still a kind of intellectualism, as I've heard it described, nombrilisme in the French novel, oh, yes. which, is, um, which distinguishes it from the Anglo-Saxon literary world. But I, I sense more and more that narrative and storytelling is returning to, to the French novel. It was, all, it was always there. We have an intellectual problem in France. They think that their own life is so interesting that it can make a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And I don't share this point. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I think my life is quite boring. And um, That's if you don't make an effort, <laughs> If you don't make an effort of imagination, I think there's no way to make a, an interesting book. I think the wonderful thing about being a novelist is that you can go further than the historian or the journalist or the, the autobiographer or the biographer. Um, because if the facts aren't there, you have to stop. Whereas in, in the case of the novelist, uh, facts are not a problem. Your imagination can arrive at a truth in a way that the most diligent research cannot arrive at. I think that uh, scientific research on a subject uh, are important, but if you don't bring it to an emotional stage, it doesn't mean anything for the public. Edgar Allan Poe defined the short story very simply as a narrative that should be read in one sitting. People often say the short story is like the string quartet and the novel is the full orchestra. But I think that's a false analogy uh, because you can do anything in the short story that you can do it in a novel, whereas you can't do any, everything in a string quartet as you can do in an orchestra. I think the, the best analogy is a literary one. I think to see the short story as the lyric poem and to see the novel as the epic poem. For me, it's a, it's a mean of writing where I feel uh, the most, the biggest freedom. You can talk about everything, short, a little bit longer. One of the, the great things about the, the, the novel form is that you can do absolutely anything you want in it. Um, and it's quite interesting for both of us, because we both work in the world of cinema and film, which is a world where you can only do very few things. <laughs> so the liberty and the freedom you have in a novel is astonishing. When you are uh, writing a, a script from your own novel, it's a work of castration. Mm -hmm. So you need to cut everything, you know, uh, because the literature dialects, uh, the dialects in literature are absolutely not the same than in cinema. And so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a work of humility where you have to consider that. Uh, Things that sounds very nice when you read it in a book are awful in a film. I, I have a bit of a, an idée fixe about um, the novel and the cinema. Um, there's an assumption that the two forms are very similar, but in fact they're not. They're very different. Um, I always make this comparison that if you go to see the opera by Verdi of Falstaff, you don't come home and read Shakespeare's The Merry Wives of Windsor and say, what a terrible adaptation of the Shakespeare play. Um, the two art forms are allowed to coexist without one being used as a, a, a kind of judge on the other. But films are always judged by their literary sources and they will always suffer. I've tried to find various metaphors uh, that work, and um, I, I have several, actually. Um, one of them is writing a novel is like swimming in the sea. Writing a film is like swimming in the bath, uh, <laughs> which is quite a good one. And similarly, there's your beautiful house. Tear it down and rebuild it. Um, it won't look like the original house, but it will still have the same number of rooms and uh, you know, maybe the chimney will be a bit askew, but it will be sort of like your original house. The director is the one guiding presence, the one visionary contribution to the film. It's not true. Uh, it's, a, it's a real collaboration. Many people, directors coming from the camera, 
think that they can write themselves the script. And a lot of them uh, face failures with this kind of uh, idea. Thank you very much to both of you. And uh, of course, um, you can find books on the table behind you. And uh, I guess that the, you know, these two gentlemen would be more than happy to sign a few books for you if you feel like uh, keeping some. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>